This is Andrea Goodell with the Holland Sentinel. I'm here at the National Guard Armory in Holland. Now, this is no longer used by the National Guard. It was taken over in 2003 by the Holland Museum. They have their administration offices upstairs, and downstairs they have their storage. And we're going to go see some furniture that was made in Holland. We're going to go see some things that came to the area through the East Indies and through trading companies there. It's the things that aren't on display and things that rotate through the museum's collections. We are category, categorized as a general history museum. And so we have things relating to Holland's history. Uh, it's starting as a city. It's the different ethnic groups that came to Holland, uh, as well as uh, a history of the Dutch culture that came to settle Holland first. And so that's where the Dutch galleries come into play, uh, things like paintings and ceramics from the Netherlands. Um, and then we have little side collections of things from the Dutch East India Company, which was a colony that the Netherlands controlled. So the museum itself is our uh, area that we have public expositions. And on average, we have about 10% of our objects there on display, and the rest are here in our collection storage. Uh, there is a process for every object that comes into the collection um, that we use to determine if we need to accept it or not into the collection. And that's based on our mission statement and our scope of collecting. And it's a committee process with staff and uh, board members. And we review uh, what we currently have in the collection. If it um, is something that we already have, we usually don't accept it. Uh, condition of the object is always something that we uh, consider. And then if, you know, it has to, of course, line into our goals here in our mission statement. And this is our, uh, it's mainly furniture storage and general storage. And it's all organized by what we call nomenclature, classification systems that museums use. And so we have uh, things like housewares and some agricultural things and um, a lot of Holland-made furniture in this room. Yeah, West Michigan was huge in the furniture manufacturing business for many years. Uh, Grand Rapids was a central hub, and then a lot of the companies came to Holland as well. Um, and things like Baker Furniture Company and uh, Holland Furniture Company, and there's several more, Limbert Company. Um, so we do have a very nice collection representative of that manufacturing history of Holland. Menu. Uh, when Russ's first opened, they had all these drive-in menus for the cars, and this is one of the few remaining intact menus. Yeah, we, we do collect uh, a lot of Asian ceramics due to the close ties of Chinese porcelain and uh, Dutch Delftware. We also collect a lot of stuff from Indonesia uh, due to the, uh, the Dutch East India Company that was uh, situated there for a long time. Um, so we have a lot of stuff from Southeast Asia. Uh, lamps, little model homes, uh, carvings, uh, spears and arrows. Most men uh, do not save their clothes, uh, whereas women save their wedding dresses, their prom dresses, any kind of important uh, high-style dress. Another example of our pretty strong military collection is the Civil War hat, um, which is very unique, and, well not unique, but very rare anyways to, to have one of this good of condition. We do save um, a lot of promos from all the different companies in Holland, all the manufacturing, all, all the restaurants, uh, just to document that they were here and gives us a good, uh, sometimes they have dates on it or their, their logos and it's, we have a great example of that promotional material. We do collect things of pop culture as well. So this is one example of that, this little Elvis doll. It says God bless America.